Zach, it seems like spring training just started, but you already faced live hitters yesterday. How did you feel on the mound? I felt good. Uh, it's always good to, to face some hitters, even though uh, it's your own team, so it's not that fun. But I try to let them know what's coming. I, I try to put myself in their shoes. It's the first time they're facing a, a pitcher as well, and I'm facing hitters. So it was good to get the work in and get some guys swinging a little bit just to get the competitive juices back going. Does it give you an indication of where your stuff is at at this point so early? A little bit, yeah, definitely. I think the biggest thing is the command with the hitter in there. You can throw so many bullpens, and you can look really pretty in the bullpens, and then you get out in the game, and a hitter gets in there, and things kind of get away from you. So I think uh, that was the biggest thing I took out of yesterday. The, my sinker, I was commanding it really well, threw some good breaking balls, and the breaking ball is going to be kind of you know, my focus, um, not only the command of my sinker, but obviously uh, throwing my breaking ball a little bit more. I have to imagine this spring much different than a year ago. You were still coming back from that Achilles issue. Do you feel a lot better? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, I think the other day I was thinking about I was learning how to walk in the underwater treadmill about this time last year. So big difference, um, you know, doing PFPs and just feeling like a normal healthy pitcher. So it's good to be just another one of the guys. In what ways was it hard for you last year to get in the swing of things? Because I know I spoke with you towards the second half of the season when you joined the team and you said your lower half still not 100%. Yeah, it was tough. I didn't feel like my lower half ever kind of came around to sync up with my upper half. My arm felt so good last year, my legs, and it was hit or miss. One day I'd feel pretty good, like I was really close to being myself, and the next day I come there and I didn't feel very good. And, you know, just the, the strength in my foot and my calf just wasn't there, so I wasn't able to repeat my delivery and really be that consistent. I found a way to, to put some, together some good outings at the end, but this off season I really focused on getting my strength back, and it's a world of difference just from my bullpens and then the live BP the other day. What was it about your experience with the Yankees last year that led you to wanting to sign with them in, in free agency in this offseason? You know, there was a couple things. Um, one of the bigger things for me was, you know, when I was in Baltimore, I had a lot of success coming in New York and, and, you know, doing well in this division. I felt like I wasn't able to show them what they had seen before. I just, based on the injury, I just wasn't able to, to be myself. And, you know, um, that little home run I gave up, and the, it wasn't very little. It was actually the winning run. That, that was just, I was like, that's not me. You know, that's... I didn't show them, you know, my best stuff like I did when I was a visiting player coming in. And uh, that was something that stuck in the back of my mind, obviously having a chance to go to the postseason again and win a World Series. I feel like this team, out of the options I had, um, was the most likely to win a World Series and multiple. You know, that's why I was seeking a you know, multi-year deal with a team I felt like was going to be competitive every year. And I know with the ownership here that they're going to not only get free agents, but they're going to make some trades at the deadline if they feel like they need to improve the team. And that's big. You know, I, I want to be – you know, with a team that's all in and trying to win the World Series, I know that's what they're going to do here. Talk about going all in, trying to win. Obviously, you are back out of Vino. That bullpen, again, is setting up to be pretty nasty. What are your views on, on what you guys have done with the bullpen and how deadly you can be back there? Yeah, it's it should be a lot of fun. I always say as long as we can stay healthy and, and guys pitch – or, you know, not try to do too much. I feel like there's a lot of guys that have had a lot of success in the bullpen. I feel like um, the biggest thing is not trying to, like, one-up each other, if that makes sense. It's just trying to be yourselves. You know, for me, I'm coming in a bullpen with guys that strike out a ton of guys, and that's never been my thing. I'll strike out, you know, my fair share, but I'm not going to strike out 100 guys like Chapman and, and uh, you know, Adovino and Batances. So I think trying to just continue to be myself and for everybody down there, I think if we do that and we stay within ourselves, uh, we're going to have a really, really good bullpen. Was that any part of changing ZAC? H to Z-A-C-K in hopes you're going to get a couple more strikeouts? I hope it works out that way. That would be nice. Is it even fun for you, a guy that's been in the league for a long time, to watch some of those guys throw with the stuff they have? Yeah, it's interesting. You know, I, you know, I had a couple of good guys in Baltimore that were in front of me, but, you know, when you have seven guys that have the ability to, to close on other teams and pitch in high leverage situations, it's fun. You learn a lot. Um, you know, guys are talking to me about my sinker. I'm talking to them about their breaking balls. It's, it's cool to be around a lot of guys with a lot of talent um, who have had a lot of success. And you've just picked their brains, I feel like, and it's going to make it's going to make me better. It's going to make everybody, I think, in the pitching staff better because we're not just talking to relievers, but I'm sitting there, you know, talking to Jay Happ, talking to CeCe, you know, trying to get as much out of him for this last year as I can, and then, you know, talking with Paxton, who's had a lot of success. So it's going to be a fun year for the pitching staff. Zach, thanks for the time. Hey, you bet.